This video is proudly sponsored by Business Excel UK, supporting small and medium sized businesses and charities with business planning, strategy, and raising finance. Hi, welcome to another episode of Shop Barnet. Today we are at the NW7 Hub for their Arts and Craft Festival. Come inside, let's take a look. are a community not-for-profit organisation really trying hard to bring the community together here in Mill Hill. We run the library next door and then we've also got this great space which today and tomorrow we've got our NW7 Arts and Crafts Fair on. Everyone here is local to Mill Hill and Barnet yes. and everything's handmade so it's l the local community showcasing their talents. I was quite bored with my life so right. I, I started drawing uh, like three times per week and okay. then it got more like regular so I decided I can do something with it and maybe like try doing it professionally. Wow. And then I So got you didn't go to art school? No, no, I'm self-taught. Amazing. I, I, bought, I bought books and um, I uh, learned from YouTube. Amazing. So, yes. <laughs> Why did you start baking in the first place? Um, my parents used to have a restaurant, so I used to make all the desserts. I was a sous chef. Oh, come on. So you're an expert. <laughs> At cooking, yes. Well, tell me about these, these lovely um, bouquets, these, are they? Yeah, they're my cook sugar cookie bouquets. Um, so they're flowers, different types of flowers. Yeah. Um, and I put them into bouquets with real flowers. These evolved from my photography, which is largely based on London's architecture and sculpture. I create the patterns and then we decide whether a pattern will look good as a silk scarf wow. or a woolen scarf wow. or a tablecloth. Sheena is of Bambino Boutiques. I love it. And you do you. custom cards. So Tell me a bit more. So they're all handmade cards, yep. uh, which I have been doing over a period of time, passing my time and suddenly it's turned into a full-on business because a lot of people have created a lot of interest in the cards. But Sheena, aren't you a, an accountant? Yes. By trade? Yes. And so this is your sideline creative street coming out? That's right, yes. Where do you find the time? One o'clock at night. <laughs> We're competing in the National Young Enterprise Competition yep. called the Tenor Challenge. Yep. And the aim is that we start with £10 each and build a business off that. Right. So what have you made? What's your business? So uh, today in front of you, we have slime, wow. uh, donuts, yep. uh, cake, yep. gluten-free cake, wow. honeycomb, sweet bags, okay. pot sockets and made-to-order key rings which you can choose a place We've raised between six and seven hundred pounds from ten pounds. From ten pounds each, yes. Wow. So twenty pounds. So you had twenty pounds all yeah. together. We have an acquaintance, not even a friend, who heard we were fundraising for Parkinson's. Okay. The next thing I know, she had a bag load of these ha hand crocheted blankets. She paid for the uh, yarn oh. and her time and everything and said just go and sell them for whatever you can oh. and give it straight to Parkinson's. Oh I love that. So it's all handmade gifts. Yep. Uh, everything can be customised and personalised to what you want. The sky's the limit. I love it. Um, everything you see here is all made by me. Wow. All different themes. About three years ago I needed a gift for my two best friends yeah. and my sister-in-law who all had their daughters and I thought what it would be better than something that was personalized for their Aww. children so I went out and I got the tiles and I did big frames like these ones yeah with their daughters names, names on. on yeah exactly and decorations and color schemes that were specifically for them that's lovely and they loved them and they said you you should give these to other people and it just spiraled Spiral from, from there, there. That's really nice. Really nice gift. Thank and how are you finding the NW7 Hub? Is that really good for your business? It's good. It's good so far. Enjoying it. Some lovely people. Yeah. I'm local, so yeah. it's nice to get my stuff around the local people and Absolutely. have them see it, not just on Facebook or Instagram yeah. or the website. And get a chance to touch it. Exactly. And to meet me, which is always good. <laughs> <laughs> Love that.
I think it's really nice that the community is brought together. Yeah. And today it's really bubbly. Yeah. And are you local as well? Yes, from Mill Hill East. Oh, fabulous. I come here like three or four times a week. I love it. To be surrounded by... My daughter does ballet. I bring my child to classes. Lovely. So it's... it's part of the community. Once a month we have two great volunteers who run the Mill Hill Chill for us where people can come down, they can watch telly, we'll pull out the projector, we have computer games, all the board games are out, you can order a takeout, you can have a drink and it's just about everyone coming together, no pressure, a real relaxed fun environment. That wraps up another episode of Shop Barnet. We've had an amazing day at the NW7 Hub. Their Arts and Crafts Festival was filled with the most amazing, creative, independent makers and doers and bakers um, that I've ever seen. So congratulations Thank on you. your first festival. We and will, we look we forward to... We welcome the support and hope it continues. It will. Thanks for having us, and guys. the community for the community by the community. Oh, I love that. That's the way <laughs> If I'd made any of these cards, I I wouldn't be able to part. I mean, look at the gift tags. Gift tags, yeah. Gift tags.